Hey folks, in this video we're bringing you along for a behind the scenes look at the biggest production our team has put together to date, a giant shoot in Las Vegas. Okay folks, so we're heading to Vegas to shoot a natural and available light masterclass, a complete course. It's been weeks and weeks of planning, days of packing. We've got huge packing lists of the different equipment we need. We've rented a bunch of different cameras and lenses from Lens Pro to go so we can shoot the whole thing from four different angles. We're also getting some local talent. We've got a couple of different Vegas base models who are coming in to shoot with us at some beautiful locations in and around Las Vegas. And we're taking along loads of fast SSD storage. I'm anticipating we're gonna shoot somewhere between three and five terabytes of 4K data on this trip. So I'm taking along the G-Technology G-Speed Shuttle SSD array. So we're able to back up everything each day in duplicate and safely get it back to New York for the edit. Now I head off first thing in the morning. I've got 24 hours before the rest of the team come in. Let's go. Hey folks, it's first full day in Vegas. Just got in last night, unpacked as you saw. Went out this morning, picked up this rental car and I've had a whole bunch of other equipment we need for this project shipped to a friend's place who's out of town. So I'm going to pick it all up now. So all set up now, got all of the gear loaded into the car, got the first model coming this afternoon. So we're gonna go unpack it all, double check everything, get anything charged that needs to. And then the team arrive, Jonathan tonight and the rest of the team tomorrow. Giant Lastolite scrim kit. A couple of medium to heavyweight Matthews light stands. An impact frame panel. A new video mic pro, Rode shotgun mic. And two extra fluffy wind diffusers. Giant pro photo reflector. Eight in one power strip with surge protection and USBs. Now, all of this gear is important for the shoot. We can't do it without it, but with a team of four to six people, just as important is keeping them all fed and healthy. So let's get all the groceries unpacked too. With all of the gear sorted, packed, charged and ready to shoot and the rest of the team arriving that night, the last thing Jonathan and I had to do was to find a location for our sunset shoot in two days time. So we headed out to scout two different possible locations. That's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna have a, a woman running sports along that path. So that's what we're gonna do. We can have a go in both directions and potentially be front, back and side lit. It's a quiet area. It's at least away from the, you know, really built up. There's some lights in the background and uh, power lines that aren't ideal. But as a first option, it's nice and close. Let's go check the second one. So we're back at the first place again, the last one that you saw the aerial from beautiful spot but that trail closes an hour before sunset at this time of year so we couldn't get in there um, so luckily this place is gonna work so we just doubled back to see how it is a bit higher up 
and now we're going to go and meet the rest of the crew. When we got back to the Airbnb, Kate and Steph had arrived, so we spent the last couple of hours revising the shot list to start filming the following day. So we have about a half an hour break here in the middle of the day. We finished the morning shooting, then we're heading out onto location. So breaking down all the cameras to travel, charging the batteries. Let me show you the charges we have. These guys are great. They charge two of the Sony batteries in the same time as one of Sony's original ones and they give you a nice display to let you know how it's tracking. We've also got the fast charger for the Atomos. So we can get all of this done probably in about an hour and be on our way. So another fundamental part for us to be able to execute a big project like this is having super fast and high capacity storage. I've been using GTEC products for years now. This is a new unit for me though. This is the 32 terabyte G-Speed Thunderbolt 3 SSD RAID. So it's all SSDs in there. We traveled with it. There's not many moving parts, so that's safe. And the Thunderbolt 3 is so fast. Also the G-Drive Mobile Pro Thunderbolt 3 external SSDs. These are just about as fast as the internal SSD and it makes the backup process so much quicker. I, I can tell you from my own experience at the end of the day of like 14 hours of filming, if the backup is taking two or three hours, I'm so much more likely to make mistakes and get confused what I've done. This lets us do it in minutes instead. At this stage, we're on track to use about three and a half to four terabytes of storage throughout this five day shoot. So speed and capacity is equally important. All right, guys, so it is Wednesday now, mid-morning. We had actually an amazing run this morning. We started at 7.30. Everyone's been on points. Steph, as you know, always hits her mark. Jonathan's been doing great with the filming. My wife, Kate, in the back has been helping out. Green light. Um, so we're actually an hour ahead of our schedule, and I was worried we'd be behind. So we're gonna go and to a park and try and get ahead on a segment so we can stay ahead for the rest of it. It's fine. You can use that to cut into actually tomorrow. As well as the variety of equipment we were shooting with, we shot on a bunch of different locations to put this course together. We're basically covering everything you need for natural and available light, indoors and outdoors, hard light, soft light. I can't wait to share it with you guys. These sun flares are so hot right now.
Our last shoot on Friday afternoon was at Calico Basin out at Red Rock, a perfect place to wrap the whole series. We got some beautiful content, both video and stills, to really tie this whole course together. It'll be available soon. Check out the links above and below.